Welcome to another CSEC chemistry workout paper. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the January 2019 paper. For this one, I'll be looking at questions 1 to 15. So let's get straight into it. Question 1. Which of the following processes demonstrate that matter is made up of minute particles? So, diffusion, we know that is the spreading of particles. Capillarity demonstrates intermolecular forces, while distillation and evaporation can be used as separation techniques. So right away we see that our answer would be diffusion, that's A. Number 2. In the notation 3517CL, the subscript 17 represents the, so this is the representation of a nuclide, and in the representation of a nuclide, the subscript represents the number of protons, which is the atomic number, so that's A. Number 3, from the table below, which of the substances represented by the options A, B, C, and D, is most likely sodium chloride. So what do we know about sodium chloride? Sodium chloride has a relatively high boiling point because it is an ionic substance and it conducts electricity when dissolved in water or when molten. It does not conduct electricity in the solid state. And therefore, we see where C shows a relatively high boiling point, no electrical conductivity in the solid state, and yes for conductivity in the aqueous state so c is our answer number four number four refers to the graph here which shows the mass of crystals that dissolve in 100 grams of water which is basically the solubility of the salt versus temperature in degrees celsius Question says the salt whose solubility changes to the greatest extent in the temperature range 0 to 60 is. So we are to identify which salt is it. And what we can do is to look at the line which has the steepest gradient because that would represent the greatest change. And so we see where the line for potassium nitrate has the steepest gradient and therefore our answer would be B. Number five, which of the following substances supplies protons as the only positive ions in aqueous solutions? According to the Brunstead lower definition of an acid, an acid is a proton donor, and so our answer would be acid. So that's C. Number six, crystals of sodium chloride are best described as sodium chloride is an ionic substance. And it consists of sodium and chloride ions in a giant lattice arrangement. So sodium chloride is ionic. That's A. Number seven, the ionic equation for the reaction between an acid and a carbonate is represented by which of those, uh, which of those equations? Now we know that in an ionic equation, only those species that are actively actively participants in the reaction are shown. So we know that the hydrogen ions are the active participants coming from the acid and the CO3 2 minus ions are actively reacting with the hydrogen ions to give us carbon dioxide and water. So that's C. Number eight, when 100 cubic centimeters of two molar hydrochloric acid in excess are added to five grams of granulated zinc, hydrogen gas is evolved at a certain rate. If 5.0 grams of powdered zinc were used instead, the rate of production of hydrogen gas would. So the only difference there would be the powdered zinc in the second case versus the granulated zinc in the first case. So powdered, in the powdered form, the substance would have a greater surface area than when it is granulated. 
and so we expect that the rate of reaction would increase because of the greater surface area so that would be b number nine and element x has an electronic configuration two eight one at which of the following positions is the element in the periodic table so we know that the number of electrons in the outer shell can tell us which group the element is in so we have one electron in the outer shell meaning that element will be in group one and how many shells we have one two three so that element is also in period three so the answer would be group one and period three which is c number 10 now number 10 and 11 refers to the table below which shows the relative charge and the approximate mass of four species which of the properties above refer to a neutron so a neutron is electrically neutral and has an approximate mass of one so therefore we look for the neutral charge which is zero and corresponding to an approximate mass of one so that's b number 11 which of the properties above refer to a proton proton has an has a relative electric charge of positive one and an approximate mass of one so that's a number 12 two solutions are mixed in order to demonstrate an endothermic change which of the following techniques would be most appropriate so when an endothermic reaction takes place heat is absorbed from the surroundings and so there will be a change in the temperature therefore taking temperature readings would be most appropriate to demonstrate that an endothermic process has taken place so that's b number 13 sulfur and oxygen are in the same group of the periodic table because now in the periodic table elements are placed in groups based on the number of electrons in their outer shells and so we have c same number of electrons in their outer shell number 14 item 14 refers to the reaction represented by the equation below we have ethanoic acid plus ethanol giving an ester plus water how many moles of ethanoic acid are required to produce 0.5 moles of the ester so we see that the mole ratio is one to one one mole of ethanoic acid produces one mole of the ester therefore 0.5 moles of the ester would have to be produced by 0.5 moles of the acid so that's b number 15 which of the following compounds is covalent now generally we know that metals and non-metals produce ionic substances because metals will give up electrons to become positively charged while non-metals like chlorine will ab accept electrons and become negative and then those two ions will bond together in an ionic bond however in the covalent case normally we find two non-metals and so the option with two non-metals would be hydrogen chloride and that's C.